Hello everyone, this is the day 5 of the UI Builder session. In this day, we will actually redesign our workspace page as well as we are going to create a, a button component here. So whenever the button will be clicked, we are going to show in a pop-up. So we want to open a pop-up. So if you see that in our last video, we actually uses that our um, repeater. Using the repeater, we actually created and added some stylized content and put there all these texts. Now what we'll do here, we'll do some uh, card type of things in our today's video and we'll do some uh, layout changes here. The first thing is that what we are going to do that, we are going to add a carousel here. So let's add the carousel component first and then we'll talk further. So in this uh, column layout, if you see this is the column layout and then in this column layout, uh, we added uh, some columns and we did some repeater. So what we'll do here on that column layout, the first thing we are going to add a one more component called we'll add a component. So we'll click add component and then here we'll add a carousel. Now you can see that carousel content added in that bottom. So we'll little bit bring towards the uh, top. So we'll add here. So now carousel component is added in the top. Now we have to do one thing. We had to add uh, one more um, thing called repeater. So repeater will move after carousel. So now you can see that the carousel we added after that we have a content and under content we have a repeater and then each repeater have stylized text which is presenting right now this way. And this is looks good much better than printing that one by one into that um, bottom. Now what we are trying to do that we are more trying to do more uh, stylized. So what we'll do after repeater we are going to add one more com uh, component called we'll click here and then one more component we are going to use that that is called card base uh, container. So we'll search for the card here. So card based container is actually hold the cards so will add this container here and then this card based container will bring after repeater. Now here you can see that after repeater once we added the card based container it's create little card. See if you see a lot of cards are get created. So these are the card created. Under this card based container we have a options called header card based header. So we'll add something called card based header. So we add that uh, card base header. Card base container inside the card base container we have card base header and then under this we have two options by default created called identify and metadata. So we'll bring this number towards the metadata. Okay. So we bring or we can say that we move that our text to the metadata and also in the card base header we will select that no. So we are not going to use that preset. We are going to use, uh, we are going to select that no as a preset. And then here uh, in the card base header also we are going to select the no. Okay. After changing these two, so card base container we set the preset as a no and then card base header we set, uh, we put the preset equal to no. And once we put that you can see lot of text are get populated with the different different incident number. So what we'll do, we'll do some little bit uh, here. So first thing is that we are going to remove this caption here. So we are going to remove these captions. So what I'll do here, if you see that we have a stylized text, I'll just go and then duplicate this stylized text here and move little bit towards that. Okay, so this is in a better position and now in this stylized text what we'll do, we will change that to um, you know a short description instead of this one. So what we'll do, we'll go and then add the short description instead of um, our number okay and then save that we will reduce this uh, text component from uh, we will change that this uh, 
stylized text component from h1 to h3 so that it looks little small now after that you can see we have a title so we'll add some title here called important task so we'll do some call Now if we go back to here in this workspace and let's see that how our look, uh, workspace looks like. If you see that the workspace looks much good than earlier. We need little bit space into the left side. So what we'll do, we'll go to this um, whole carousel component here and then under this style we'll put some uh, padding here. So we'll put some margin maybe. So we'll put uh, uh, one pixel margin there or maybe a little bit more and save that and it should be shifted to that little bit uh, towards that so let's refresh there so now you can see this is our final looks right now um, so we have right now four um, incident which is presenting that four incident number here in the top we have a uh, this is a short description these all are short description and then we have a view all once you click that view all it can uh, you know it can show right now it's not working anything uh, it can do or you can land to the list of the record so what else we need we want to add a button into to, into the bottom of here in this position so we want a button so that um, We'll use that button for different purpose, but at the moment we need a button here in the bottom. So let's try that. So what we'll do here, we'll add one more component here after this stylized uh, here. We are going to add one more button here. So we are going to select this button and add this and we'll select that preset as a none. So you can see the button is added into the left side we can change this position of this button we can go to this style and then again uh, let's add and then here we can shift their position so we can change here and then simply save that so we added the button and we move that button to towards the right side now what we want we want somebody clicking this button we should show a pop-up or a model window and there we can show some content here so for that what we have to do we have to go back to these events and then under this event if you click that add event handler you will be able to find out multiple event option the one of the event option is called open and close open or close modal dialog using that open or close modal dialog we are going to open that modal dialog now if you click this open or close modal dialog you will be able to see that the form will be loaded for you and then here you need to define the modal name as we don't have any modal i am not able to select any modal so let's first create a modal to create a modal if you go to the left side you will have that overlay so this is the body and this is the overlay section under this overlay section you have a modal 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 less dialog popover so we are going to create a modal so we'll click the plus sign and once you select this uh, you know uh, plus sign you have a options to have multiple options so one of the option is that alert confirm confirm and destroy custom iframe uh, view portal so multiple type of modal window we have as you know that under this modal option we have a multiple options are there right so we have we can show the alert message confirm message something like that so what we'll do we are going to select that custom at that moment we'll select the custom once we select the custom under this model we have a header body footer component so let's say that under this uh, header we are going to select call stylized text again so we'll select the stylized text and then in this stylized text we'll select none and here and this modal the custom one modal we are going to call from our event so we'll go and scroll down this is a button we have and we are going to call this uh, uh, like this is a button whenever the button will be called that our modal should be open so we'll glow again and then this time we'll select the open and close modal 
and here uh, we are going to select that our model so we'll select the custom one and simply add that and then save that button so it means that whenever the button will be the button will be clicked the modal pop-up should be open and that should uh, show some content that we are going to discuss later what content we are going to do that so let's refresh our workspace so we'll just refle uh, rep uh, refresh our workspace and this is the button once you click the button you can see that modal window is coming so this way we can create a modal and then modal can be defined under here so you can see that we are able to whenever we clicking the button any of this button it is showing this model 